This is Ezra Zanero. I'm a professor in the Earth Science Department. Um, my specialty area is medical geography. Um, I research the geographic aspects of health and health care. Uh, I use GIS and spatial analysis uh, as essential techniques in understanding of social and environmental determinants of diseases and how they affect population health. I direct GIS certificate program at the University of Memphis and also direct spatial analysis and geographic education laboratory at my SAGE laboratory, Spatial Analysis and Geographic Education Laboratory. I conduct research in GIS and medical geography from infectious disease spread to mapping health experiences. I train the public and professionals in mapping technologies and do various outreach activities with industry partners and K-12 schools. When COVID-19 spread so quickly, information had to move even faster. This is where map-based dashboards become crucial. At the SAGE Laboratory, my team and I created the Shelby County COVID-19 dashboard to provide interactive maps and monitor confirmed infections, fatalities, and recoveries. The dashboard is compiled and updated by my research assistant, Jacob Svoll. Graphs detail virus progress over time. Viewers can see the day and time of the most recent data update and data sources. The dashboard's data sources are Shelby County Health Department's COVID-19 website and Esri Web Services. Spanish language and mobile versions are also provided. With this dashboard, we empower data sharing with providers, policy decision making, community engagement, public health resource allocation, and intervention strategies to mitigate upcoming pandemic waves. The map, the case map, highlights areas with the highest cases per 100,000 population. Red colored areas infer highest number of cases of coronavirus by zip code in Shelby County, basically where the infection is more common in the county. We display and monitor recovered cases, active cases, deaths, and total deaths, new active and positive tests per zip code. There are several layers of maps, locations of hospitals and ICU beds and their capacities, population density and the testing site locations. And also we detail the geographic distribution of various disease and conditions which increase susceptibility to COVID-19. You can use the layer switch around the dashboard at the upper right to choose which diseases to display, in this case, diabetes. We also have percent population of age 65 and above, minority population, and location of percent lacking health insurance coverage. We provide this dashboard in Spanish language as well. So you can go through the same data in Spanish version. We also provide mobile version where you can see precisely the total cases, active cases and deaths, maps, zip codes and graphs, cumulative cases by date, active cases by date and daily new cases. Thank you. Okay, hi, I'm Jake Siebeli and I I am a former student of the University of Memphis. Um, I graduated actually in May of this year with two degrees, one in earth sciences and one in mathematics. And I'm working under Dr. Ezra Ozdenerol and the SAGE Laboratory in the earth sciences department. We are working on several things. We're doing a tech transfer project and we are operating a Shelby County COVID-19 dashboard. Okay, this, this is our COVID-19 in Shelby County, Tennessee dashboard. And making this dashboard was an idea we had back early in the pandemic after we saw the popularity of the Johns Hopkins dashboard and the 
popularity of other dashboards that quickly popped up around the country. We saw a lot of states and a lot of cities coming out with their own dashboards and it became very clear to us that Shelby County, Tennessee needs one. So at the beginning, we started off with the Shelby County Health Department's data page. And this page gives you just about any piece of information you'd like to know about the virus in Shelby County. It tells the number of cases, the number of new cases per day, um, demographic breakdowns for the cases and geographic breakdowns. And so we take all of our data from this page for the dashboard. And our goal is to take all the data off of this page and present it to the public in a way that is easier to understand and really highlights the key numbers and the key data that determine or that describe the path of the virus in Shelby County. Well, um, it empowers data sharing with providers, uh, policy decision making, community engagement, and public health resource allocation, and innovation strategies to mitigate upcoming pandemic threats. Well, data shows us the virus is spreading more rapidly after reopening. More testing is also happening. So testing for the virus is important. These uh, maps and the dashboard can show where people live uh, that have the virus, but also show where more testing is needed. Um, we're using what we know, the population in the zip codes to understand where people need more help. Uh, testing sites in the community have been set up to make it easier for people to get tested. Stay home as much as you can, keep a safe distance, wash hands often, wear a mask, and when you're sick, call ahead. While I'll continue mapping cases and pandemic spread, I will map vulnerable populations, which will determine whether communities with a higher density of racial and ethnic minorities will have less screening, more confirmed COVID-19 cases, and lower survival rates as compared to majority communities. I will map risk surfaces such as transmission risk, susceptibility risk, insufficient resource risk, socioeconomic and exposure risk. I will continue mapping healthcare capacity and also communicate with maps, use interactive web maps, dashboards, story maps to rapidly communicate the pandemic to the community.